Andrew in Jacksonville, Florida asks, if we go back to a gold standard, what happens to silver? Well, if we go back to the gold standard, I think the price of silver is going to rise. There is, is historically, there is a relationship between the price of gold and the price of silver. And if we go back on a gold standard, then the price of gold is going to have to rise rather substantially, which in my opinion means the price of silver will rise as well. Now, will silver be remonetized? Remember, when we were on a gold standard before in the United States, it wasn't a pure gold standard. We had a bimetallic standard uh, where gold and silver circulated simultaneously as money. So it's possible that when we go back to a gold standard, we could also uh, go back to a silver standard, but it's not required. And I think one of the reasons that we can get away with a gold standard today is because with banking and computers and debit cards, it's a lot easier to break gold down into smaller units for the purpose of spending than it was in the past. You know, back then you didn't have that. So if you wanted to buy, you know, a loaf of bread, there was no way to pay for it with gold because uh, you couldn't get that small an increment. So you would use silver. In fact, even though gold and silver were legal tender, copper and nickel still circulated. And even though copper and nickel weren't legal tender, you could still use copper and nickel for these smaller transactions. Pennies were made of copper, nickels were made of nickel. But uh, from purposes of contracts and debts, if somebody, if you had, uh, you know, agreed, if you had a long-term contract and someone had to pay you ten thousand uh, dollars, you could if refuse being paid in pennies or nickels. That was not legal tender. Uh, you had to pay in gold or silver. But certainly, merchants for small transactions would accept payment in these smaller denominations uh, because it was much more practical. And of course, the United States government did mint uh, coins. Uh, pennies and nickels that were not made uh, from monetary metals, uh, but to facilitate uh, transactions uh, for uh, small amounts.